Testing Prophetic Messages When someone claims to have a prophetic message from God, we're to use the scriptures to evaluate the authenticity of this message. Here's Gene to explain this principle. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 21 and following, Moses said, You may say to yourself, How can we recognize a message the Lord has not spoken? He answers that. When a prophet speaks in the Lord's name and the message does not come true or is not fulfilled, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. In other words, every message from God that is prof prophetic will come true. Not partially, not close, but specifically, it will come true because God is specific. And when He says something will happen, it will happen, as God has prophesied it. So that's a message from the Lord. The other He has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Do not be afraid of Him. Now even in the New Testament they had a problem with knowing what was a true prophetic message. And remember, they didn't have the Bible. They didn't even have the Old Testament available. It could be read in the synagogues, but generally speaking, it was, you know, uh, it, was a, it was a scroll that was hidden away. They didn't have the Old Testament like we have today. And they certainly didn't have the New Testament. For example, the Thessalonians, uh, they may have only seen two letters, the two letters that were written to them. They, you know, they may have died before they saw any other piece of literature. The Ephesians may have only seen that one letter. The Corinthians may have seen only two letters. They did not have the New Testament. And so God had a special way in the early days of the church to help people discern what was truly prophetic and what was not. And Paul addressed that in 1 Thessalonians when he said, Don't stifle the Spirit. If the Spirit is speaking, you don't want to stifle Him. However, in that process, he elaborates, Don't despise prophecies, but test all things. Even then they could be deceived. Hold on to what is good, stay away from every form of evil. So even in the New Testament era when they had people who had the gift of interpreting and understanding what was true and what wasn't, they even had problems. Now we're fortunate today as we have the New Old Testament, we have the New Testament, and that's why the focus here in this principle is on the Scriptures, because we have this incredible revelation. So in view of that, let me read that principle again. When someone claims to have a prophetic message from God, we're to use the Scriptures to evaluate the authenticity of this message. That's the place that we can go. Now beyond that, we have to be very careful, and we need to test it. And the fact is that there are some today who say that they're prophets, and they make prophetic statements. Well, that leads to the R&R &R question, the reflection and response question. In what ways do some religious leaders manipulate and control people with what they claim are prophetic revelations? And you've heard people like that saying, God told me. I'll tell you one red flag that get your, should get your attention all over the place, is when they say, God told me that you're supposed to give a certain amount of money. God told me that. And when you hear that, be aware. Now maybe you should give a certain amount of money, but God's told you that in the Scriptures. He's not working through a man who's telling you specifically how much you should give. That's manipulation and control, and it's used all the time today in our culture by televangelists and other people. It's manipulation, it's control. Anytime God, a person says, God told me this is what's going to happen, one of the things you really need to look for is, does it happen? And there's some well-meaning probably and well-known individuals who said, this is going to happen, and it doesn't come true. That was not from God. Because if it was from God, it would have come true. Now they may come back and say, but it's almost true. No, God says it must be true in every respect. 
Don't wiggle your way out of it by rationalizing and saying I was close. I just misunderstood. God probably didn't make it as clear as He should, or I wasn't listening. That's manipulation. Or self-deception. And that's something we need to really be aware of today because it's being done in our culture by so-called Christians and Christian leaders. And it's very, very unfortunate. And some of the things I hear on television just makes my blood boil or almost run cold, whatever metaphor you want to use, because of the way in which they are manipulating people and you can, you can see it like the back of your hand and people are duped by that. And most of the time it's people who are poor and in need. And that's the sad part of it. And these people will bleed them with this manipulation. And, and someday God's going to judge that severely, I'm convinced. Because it's not close to the heart of God. Not close to the heart of God whatsoever. So we need to test prophetic messages. When someone claims to have a prophetic message from God, we're to use the scriptures to evaluate the authenticity of this message. And believe me, there's a lot of scripture to help us to evaluate authenticity when it comes to someone who claims they've got a message from God.